Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We are um, we're gonna head into our next dungeon. This is the, the Badlands or Vince's Vault. Let's do the Badlands. I'm just gonna be very boring about it and move move just like counterclockwise over here. City expansion. Our brave new kingdom is still in grave peril. The denizens of nearby dungeons are breathing down our necks. If a brave, brave hero wanders in and slays the leaders in each area, then the rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Okay. So, reward a new dungeon. Nice. Let's try the priests. Priests are good health. An extra three health is gained per level. Uh, good drink. Health potions are 100% effective. Good golly. Uh, physical damage against undead is 100%. Plus 100%. Okay. Good golly. I like that. Um, and we don't gain that extra XP anymore from killing upwards, although you always gain more XP for killing upwards, but um, the fighters just get an added extra advantage. Um, but we do get more health from leveling up or uh, converting. We seem to still get a plus 10% bonus for converting, which is a good thing to know. Um, so let's just go ahead and kill some Warlocks. And this Meat Man. Meat Man seems to not do very much damage. He's very much an easy kill. Um, we'll pick that up. It looks like that's our boss right away. Hey, adventurer over here. Yeah, it's me, the dungeon boss. Come on, just try and hit me with a fireball. I dare you. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Regards of Vince the, in the Invincible. No, you suck. Extra damage. What is this? Wanna fight. Summons existing enemy, adding slow debuff. No blink, retreat, or retaliation strike. Second bonus XP. Um, so this is a... I, I like this spell. And in fact, I, I'm a heavy exploiter of that spell. But the problem is that at, at a low level, you can very easily summon a creature that you cannot defeat. Um, so it's, you know, it's a bit... Is that another one? That's the same spell again. Well, that's good. Um, we can definitely convert that for free. And there's our uh, favorite burn to raise. Here's a uh, sign, dungeon hint, writer, guild memo number four. Whenever possible, get f back to full health before fighting the next monster. Heal then fight. Kill. Um, all right, but let's uh, let's try it. I will try uh, want to fight because the nice thing is we can summon something. And look at that. We get we summoned a level one. We gain b bonus XP when we kill it, and we did level up off that. Um, and it also we we strike first so it's it is really good it's not gonna work every time uh, towards our benefit but we it, you know it is going to be good and we'll get oh there's a staircase let's check this out some more stuff now this uh this like underground here counts towards our like dungeon tile reveal so even that you want to kind of um manage a little bit like you don't want to be revealing tiles if you're already at full health and full mana you want to make the most of all of your resources so we're going to do this want to fight and um kill them now that we're hurt now we can go back down and reveal some more of these tiles and look at that it looks like um what we could do what we can do is we could do a wanna fight here and now we know what it is it's a bandit we can kill them and we got something a mighty fine sword by the looks of it it could probably add about four base damage or so we can convert it for 35 points but uh it's gonna add um i guess four base damage so that's that's decent there might have been some more other stuff over there but uh you know that's i'm, I'm happy with what we got all right let's do another wanna fight kill and the Swana fight is gain, giving us, like, lots of bonus XP. Uh, there's another spell there, but we're, let's do another Wana fight first. So that we... Oh, we leveled up. That's a, that is a good thing. Make no mistake, but I wasn't expecting it. Um, there's a goblin. We get first strike. And this Wana fight is just, like, letting us kill basically the whole dungeon for free. Which is great. We're getting the most out of that Wana fight because, uh, like... We get our cake and eat it too. We get to reveal the dungeon whenever we want to. Um, we still want to reveal the dungeon to like find some stuff and collect it, right? 
We have biceps. Boost your next melee attack with a 30% damage boost. Strike erodes 3% resistances. That's interesting. Does this guy... This guy has magic resistance. So if I was to use that, then it would, it would wear down their magical resistance and then we could use burn to raise to hurt them more. We found another burn to raise. We're going to con convert that for some extra bonus uh, attack power. Um, yeah, I don't, I think we want to be at least level four before we start, um, fighting the boss, but let's continue doing want to fight because that's working out really well for us. We are now level four. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, is this biceps is really cheap as well. It's only two mana. So we can do want to fight and biceps in the same turn if we have full mana. So if we come across something harder, like even like this level four dude, we can also do increase our, our strength. It won't really matter, I guess, if we don't kill them because that first strike only matters the first time we hit them. But all the same, it's, uh, you know, it's good to know these things. These are these are things that really matter. Like, for instance, look, we're very close to killing this guy on our first attack. We use biceps. Now we kill them and we don't take any damage costs us two mana to not take damage we want to get those that max health whenever we can uh and at this point i'm just revealing the dungeon specifically for for the mana kill oh we didn't kill him oh i should have used my biceps there that was that was silly so i took a lot of needless damage there for no reason you gotta you I, like I, I like i like to play these things fast and loose and it does hurt me in the end uh Guild member number three, don't forget to explore sub dungeons. They show up as extra staircases and usually offer bonuses. Ooh, more dungeon. Is there one over here? It's uh, surprising to me that it told me about that, but there wasn't any dungeon over there. At this point, yeah, okay, so we're level five. Um, level five. We're good. Uh, I don't think there's enough dungeon. I don't think there's enough creatures left in the dungeon to level up again. Oh, look, we got another biceps. Convert that for extra attack. So at this point, we want to keep the rest of the dungeon for um, recovery purposes. Uh, I suppose we can always do want to fight. Yeah, okay, so if we're doing want to fight and it's summoning the boss, this is uh, good to know uh, be that they are the last thing available. So actually, I want to get a full mana here. They still have, um, they're still slowed. It doesn't matter. It, the first strike is only going to matter if we're uh, going to be able to kill it. But um, actually, when I think about it, this want to fight is basically a, a, a cheaper weight. What? Because um, they get slowed. So as long as we get them down to low health here, let's, we'll use biceps. And I think we can just kill them now. Yeah, there you go. We could have done weight what? Or sorry, want to fight as well, and then we would have had first strike, but it doesn't matter. We've done it. We got all the stuff. These first three dungeons are going to be really easy compared to uh, later on. Hail, most industrious kingdom administrator. A local blacksmith unsatisfied with the extremely poor sales of farming equipment has a business proposal to bolster the heroes in your kingdom. When you're interested, pay a visit to the supply store. Visit the blacksmith. Got it. Trophy sold. He sold the goat horn for 150. Nice. Check out the blacksmith. Um, let's upgrade that. You've upgraded a key structure and now have access to dungeon preparations. Preparations. In this building's new preparation area, you'll see several slots with a variety of performance boosting dungeon effects, such as free items, run modifiers, or more abstract benefits. Sounds helpful. If you want to see how these preparations affect dungeoneering, just start up the next adventure. Let's go. All right, um, we have 65 gold, not enough to upgrade anything. So let's go ahead and, and hit the Badlands. And uh, we'll do a fighter again. I like the fighter. So here's our preparations. Time to start using your dungeon preparations. You may select one preparation per row here for your adventure's next ex expedition. Pick one per row, right. You'll be charged a small amount of kingdom gold for each preparation. Your list of active preps is shown here. Aha, preps cost gold. Good to know. So the sword here would gain us two plus two damage. Shield is two less da uh, damage taken. Um, Slayer wand, 
perfect remedy for particularly troublesome foes. Destroys one regular enemy and provides base experience capped at player level for the kill. Non-level XP bonuses apply. Non-level XP bonuses apply. So you don't gain like the super extra experience for killing it, but you do gain maybe your kin uh, bonus. I think that's how that works. It might be good for the fighter to take something like that. And I can you take more than one? No, you can only take the one. And it costs five gold. Worth knowing that you can take something like this and then lose and lose some of your gold. So right away we've got some um, we've got some spells. This is uh, end as wall. Destroy a dungeon wall and uh, oh, it's end this wall. And gain a temporary 20% physical resistance boost. This effect will stack. So keep that in mind. That's that is a new spell and it's important. It's an important one. You can use it to destroy walls, but then you gain physical resistance. I I miss my wanna fight. I like that spell a lot. Um I want to be able to kill this guy. You know what? What we can do is these uh, these cost is endis wall, right? The the um, the trees. So now we have stone skin. This is um, resistance boost of twenty percent. So now we take less damage from this warlock, and it does this stacks. Remember, so we can destroy this one as well and take even less damage. We could have used the burn to raise. Burn to raise is always a good fallback. Now, what I want to do is actually go to one of these level four dudes. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna shortcut our way over there. Because this guy's level four, we're gonna kill them immediately. And why didn't that give us the XP? I thought that that was gonna give us the XP for killing it. A what? Did I just like a hundred percent not understand? Now, this one is called this game is called rewind is I wonder if there is actually an undo button This is something that has only become relevant as of right now <laughs> Enemy select right click Buffer last input This enabled for pros What is this animation canceling? Hmm. So what is this? Oh, I see. This, those are just camera. Oh, that's that's actually really useful to know that. Well, I guess um, rewind just stands for. <laughs> that was that's really bad. We just killed like one of our most valuable resources in the in, in in this dungeon. Let's see if we can complete this anyway. Um, this is going to get rid of our death protection. We really don't want to lose that on the first turn. So let's go ahead and use, um, a potion and then I'm not sure what we want to do here. I'm trying to kill this goblin. So this will, let's just use a health potion. It's a, it's a good idea. Like I, I, I end up, you know, ending the dungeon with all of my potions every time. So... Okay, we can kill this lad and we won't even lose our death protection. So this is good I can't believe I took that wand specifically so we could kill a higher level creature um, Without taking any damage like we could basically gain a, a, a ton of XP in the beginning of the dungeon And I mean, I know that that uh, that was kind of maybe um, naive to think that they were gonna let me get away with that but at the same time how could you just give me nothing? <laughs> okay, we're at level three. So we're not going to see any benefit for killing uh, level twos or level four uh, zombie. If we could kill this guy, that would be great because we'll gain a lot of XP. Um, but it's going to take four hits to, to kill them. We can do one burn to raise. We can do a second burn to raise. And we don't have any potions, but 
You know, I, I think honestly using up our death protection wouldn't be a terrible idea here. Or we could try and recover enough to do that last bit of damage. But I'm not sure if that won't be risky. Let's just kill them. There's the boss. I've been around since the des des desktop dungeons alpha and I'm still going to kick your ass. Just let me land one hit. I liked your old graphics better. Wow, I wonder how many people complained about that. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, like, uh... <laughs> now, I, now I kind of feel bad. Get and Dare. Grants you first strike in your next combat round and 5% dodge chance. That is a really nice pickup. That would have actually saved us quite a bit of health. So if we, this guy's going to take three hits, right? So if we hit him once, hit him again, but then use get and dare, we're going to lose no health for, for uh, attacking him. And we, we also level up. This guy's going to take four hits, which we can do. Um, let's hit them with a burn to raise on the off chance it saves us one hit, right? Hit them once, hit him again. First strike, kill. And this is, this is kind of the pattern of how we do things. We don't need to. We're not going to use burn to raise because then we can't do a get and dare. Get and dare is three mana. This guy's going to take four hits and yeah, I mean, okay, we can we can do it. There we go. So we're five XP away from level five. We have another get and uh, get and dare, so we can convert it. For uh, for the extra XP, we've got tons of man, uh, mana potions. Oh yeah, we should we should be fine to uh, get to level five at the very least. So we can use a get and dare. Um, oh right, these goblins have first strike, so like get and dare doesn't actually do anything for us. It gives us five percent dodge, so there is that. But it's worth noting that if a monster has first strike, it does in fact supersede your first strike. Oh, this guy is going to hurt us to death. <laughs> they have 75 damage. So if we were to get to like, I guess, 85, 80 damage, we might. But here's the thing. Hold on. We, first of all, we can we can um, raise our defense a little bit and survive one strike. But also we can hit them with some of our own stuff, right? So we could uh, hit. Oh, we're not we don't have enough mana. Oh, we have a mana potion. I'm a I'm a big dummy. So we're gonna we're gonna hit them here. And then we can use a mana potion and first strike and kill them. Done. We'll explore the rest of the dungeon. Like I I'm, I'm being very premature about killing the boss. If I can kill it, why not try? But um, worth exploring the dungeon anyway, because the gold is gold. You know, it's gold for upgrading the town. Look at all this extra stuff that I, I like that is all cheddar for <laughs> that I could have used to, you know, kill the boss. And we can also, um, if a monster is a higher level than you, it will give bonus experience. Fight them carefully using helpful equipment and you'll rock it up in levels. That's what they tell me, but it didn't seem to work that way. There's a little pocket here. I wonder if there's some extra dungeon. No. Oh, we didn't, uh, I don't think I explored this passage. So now we can, there, there always seems to be a little bit of extra in these, uh, in these pocket dungeons and they give you a spell basically for, um, I'm going to use the arrows since it'll be faster. They give you, um, a spell specifically in, in with that mini dungeon in mind to defeat. City expansion. Congratulations, you've defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons, and your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Now about that statue. Unfortunately, you're running up against a new kind of problem. As you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to the kingdom treasure vault, you notice that it's becoming a teensy bit full. Uh, blow it on a statue. It's time for the official vault to expand beyond the confines of that old couch in your spare bedroom. For now, you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security. 
Hiding it in random pots across town simply won't do. Haha, <laughs> Zelda reference. Like you have a better idea. Puts the pottery down. Okay, you know, these these uh, little quips are consistently getting a, uh, a sensible chuckle from me, so I have to appreciate them. Rumors abound in the... <laughs> In the local tavern that mysterious creatures known as bankers have been sighted in these realms. If you catch one, maybe you can harness its power in some way. Hunting bankers. Praxis. Trophy sold. You sold the goat horn for 150 gold. Now that you're going further afield, quests from dungeons are becoming accessible from the map screen. Click on the tavern to prepare your next adventure. Field reports say that a well-dressed creature has been sighted in the den of danger, allegedly trying to assess its value on the real estate market. It's said to be somewhat magic resistant and very prone to financial jargon and arcane mantras like time is money. Challenge and defeat the banker a roaming here. We may be able to unlock some of its a finance-sami. A finance-omancy. Uh, uh, this is goofy as heck. Okay, watch a uh, banker. <laughs> Although Venture Cave is well known as a gathering point for deadly adventurer slayable beasties, it also tends to be a meeting point for dubious dealers and good smugglers. Trackers are almost certain that you'll find a banker wandering around here. Challenge and defeat it. Bank on this. The map screen gives you an overview of your kingdom surroundings and all the dungeoneering opportunities they represent. Click on one of the quest flags. Um... Confirm your quest selection here just as you would with a dungeon. This is Venture Capital, but I thought Den of Dungeons or Den... Whatever, it's fine. Great, you're now in dungeon preparation mode. If you change your mind about the quest you're, you've accepted or any other aspect of your hero's creation process, you can jump to the appropriate phase with a simple click on the left there. Clicking here takes you back to the map screen and dungeon quest selection. This takes you to your class and kin selection, Nod Harder. Or you can just cancel here and resume your important looking at kingdom duties. The realm is your plaything. That is it for now. Do as you see fit within the realm of bureaucratic compatibility, of course. Hardly nod. So I want to see here. Is this a den? This is Den of Dangers. Uh, it also, you might notice, it tells you which classes you've defeated it with. Uh, so that is... Uh, <laughs> That is your sign that defeating a, uh, you know, I guess you could do a previous dungeon. Oh, maybe you can't do a previous dungeon. Maybe these are the first dungeons that are replayable, but you can replay dungeons with other classes. No gold may be earned here after your first victory in another dungeon. For struggling journeymen who want to help the realm but aren't quite ready for the full adventuring experience, this is uh, interesting. Okay, so Hobbler's Hold is maybe offered as an op option if you're struggling. Okay, so let's do Den of Dangers to get the Banker. Um, we'll do Priest again. Actually, you know what? We have money. Let's let's get a new lad. Let's get uh, Wizards. Wizards are tricky to me. I have never been good with Wizards. I'm not much for Wizards, you know? What are these class challenges? Carefully designed scenarios, each sculpted to bring you into intimate combat, contact with uh, the wrinkles and uh, uh, idiosyncrasies of each class. They also offer useful items and loot for their completion. Bronze challenges are playgrounds, calibrated to let each class shine in their optimal environment. Silver challenges ask a little more, requiring you to use the strengths of a class to overcome a more hostile dungeon. Gold challenges offer supreme bragging rights by forcing you to overcome the limitations of each class. Um, let's do one of these. And you get gold for doing it? Sure, let's do it. You don't get to, you don't get any preparations, that's fine. Look here when you're ready to leave. Um, so we start with two, um spells and one of them is wanna fight and i'm a wall create a wall on a dungeon tile if this targets an enemy your next kill earns 50 percent of bonus experience if not two mana is refunded so we could go forward here um oh these are 
Gorgons. Gorgons suck. I remember not liking Gorgons. Petrifies attackers with less than 50% health. So if we have less than 50% health, we die. Oh, give me, give me a second here. I feel a sneeze coming on. I'm, I have both cats here blocking my line of sight to the mute button. So you may hear a sneeze. That's, that's, uh, if you, you know, you can blame the cats for that. All right. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to do a want to fight and kill. If we can kill, we should kill. But the idea is that if we summon something harder than ourselves, um, then we use this I'm a wall on the Gorgon and then we will gain an XP bonus, right? I really like the, the music in this game. So let's do want to fight. We're still getting level ones, but we leveled up, so that's fine. So we have a level two now. So, but we're, we, we are level two now. <laughs> If this targets an enemy, your next kill earns 50% bonus experience. If not, two mana is refunded. So we did it to an enemy, um, and that means that we'll gain a bonus for killing this goat. You can use level ones to uh, benefit you for uh, future creatures. Because this guy, like, um, this goat is only going to give us one experience, right? Whereas... This level two goat over here is going to give us two experience. I guess that uh, works out to be exactly the same. But if I was to kill a level three creature like this goat over here, then we would get um, five experience, which means using the stone on a level one creature would mean that we'd get two extra bonus experience for so we're essentially converting a level one creature into a uh, like extra experience I believe that's how it works um so let's try and kill this goat here uh, I'll use my health potion if I need to This is unfortunately going to use up our death protection. Would prefer not to do that, but we're gonna, because we did level up off that. So our death protection is now gone. I do tend to blow the death protection, generally speaking, on uh, on on trying to kill something for extra benefits. I think it's better to try and like get. Um, to, to use it as a tool rather than use it as a desperation. So this thing is enraged. These things have berserk. Then we want to start using this uh, want to fight. So they, they will kill me now. So I want to actually back away. I'm not getting very lucky with these goats, I gotta say. This guy's a level four. I wonder if we could kill them. Um, hmm. No, I can't. Not unless I use my health potion. I'm just uh I'm just kind of like weighing the pros and cons here. We have a level one creature here, so we should convert them at the very least. So they'll kill us. We use a health potion. I think I think we're still not gonna be able to make this one. This was maybe a mistake on my part. Yeah, that was not great. Hmm, this is tricky. Why don't we just try and level up? 
once. I'm trying to like, um, I'm trying to manipulate the board a bit too much, maybe. These Gorgons suck because, well, actually I should be able to kill this one. Yeah. So we leveled up off them. So maybe we can do some fun stuff now with, like I'm honestly, even the level threes and fours are giving me some trouble. Let's do wanna fight. That's not bad. I'm wondering, is there, there's another level one over here I should convert. Uh, so that, yeah, they'll kill me. Let's use a health potion and then kill this level four. I think this is closer to what an actual dungeon looks like. And this is when things start to get tricky. That'll bring me down to 20 health. I'm pretty sure that means that I would die. So we want to have at least a little bit more because they, they if you're below, I think it's below half health. It might, might might not have meant anything, but if you're below half, then they'll just instantly kill you. I don't know why these rocks are sh shining. I wonder if you can smash them open. We have a level two here. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth converting them. We can kill this Gorgon. So why don't we go ahead and convert this level two here and then kill that level four. Now we're level five. We have another level one. I'm actually happy to see the level ones. Pretty sure we can't kill this lad because it's going to take three hits. And our third hit will be below um, 50% and they have first strike, so they will just kill us. So let's go ahead and we're going to convert this level one and then we're going to do want to fight. That worked out okay. Unfortunately, here is it's a kind of a problem because that first strike only matters on the first hit and it doesn't matter if you don't kill them, right? What is Berserks at 100%? When health drops below 100%, damage is plus 50%. Yeah, these guys are uh, kind of a huge problem. We seem to get first strike against them. I'm not sure why. Interesting. So we're starting to summon things that are like right in front of us. If we could make something out of that. Wanna fight is beginning to show its irrelevancy. <laughs> so they'll kill me. But if I get this health potion and use it, I can kill them. Things are getting things are nasty right now. <laughs> this is this is tough. All right, mana potion. Um, we got a mana potion. I need to find like another level one I can convert, but I'm at full health right now, so wandering around is not going to be a great idea. Let's uh, let's just do a wanna fight. Hmm. We really don't have like an. We need like one more spell. Because right now I don't have enough. Oh, we can kill this guy for without taking any damage. This is good. I suppose that wasn't necessarily a good idea because we don't maybe converting them would have been better. I'm sure there's a conversion like uh, optimization rate. Like you want to um, do an I am a wall against a creature that's two levels below you at the very least. Anything more than that, then the conversion rate doesn't work out or something. I'm sure if you did the math, it would actually you you'd you'd benefit from it.
So if we hit them, we could maybe get lucky with Wanna Fight. We did actually get lucky with Wanna Fight, but unfortunately, it's still not going to matter. Oh, it did. So we got lucky twice with Wanna Fight. I, I, that is incredible. We can hit this guy twice, and then if we do want to fight... Yeah, we're, we're hoping that we, we get, like, insanely lucky with that. So why don't we use a mana potion and try that again? There we go. So we're basically just rolling the dice, hoping that we can get this, like, a last strike on a creature with want to fight. I think I'm definitely going to convert this guy. Also, convert you want to convert the creatures, or at least decide to convert them quickly because they count as an extra creature on the board and so they will they will be summoned to you uh, with wanna fight and that's not good so let's do yeah we're getting really lucky with this wanna fight i don't know if maybe it selects for the closest enemy there might be a meta strategy that i'm not quite getting uh, on that one there's another level two over there but i don't want to reveal more of the dungeon without you know having to got another level four we're we're now at level seven things are going well i think we're making the most of the dungeon The good news is that we can hit this guy twice without um, being below 50%. So we can hit them twice and then try and want to fight them. We, we're getting really lucky with that want to fight. I gotta say. I'm not sure if it's just pure luck. We can kill this level 5. So same business again. We're going to hit them twice. And then hope we summon them. We did. I, I have to wonder if it doesn't summon the closest creature. It's it's just I've gotten too lucky too many times for it to, to not feel like it's actually part of the strategy. So like, for instance, if I was over here, I'm closer to the level two creature. Oh, there might have been a level four creature over there. I couldn't see, but that's fine. Let's kill them. So level two? No, that definitely summoned the one over there. So I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I've just gotten very lucky, but uh, be a deer and strike a dashing pose. Would you? I can start to work on a heroic looking statue for you as soon as I get the hair uh, out of my eyes. Yes, I know. I really ought to tie it back. Rude. Um, so we, ha unfortunately, it's going to take four hits, technically, to kill them. And we don't have four hits. We have two hits. We have two hits and then we can summon them. So we need to be, uh, we need another spell. I don't know if I can actually kill this lad. Two mana is refunded. Create a wall on a dungeon tile. If this targets an enemy, your next kill earns 50%. Can we use this on the boss? Probably not, right? No. Um... So this is bad. I don't think there's any way we can level up. So I think we just need to search the dungeon for any tools. Because there's only level twos left. We need 37, 36 X XP. Okay, the, these will help. Those extra man, uh, health, um, that extra health might actually make a difference. But what we really need, you know what we need is we need to convert. Can we convert this? It won't let us convert these spells. 
And it won't let us convert the, the health potions either. So we're stuck with our base damage. I think there's nothing I can do but uh, basically explore the dungeon and hope that I find um, a... Yeah, exactly that. That's exactly what we needed. So now it only takes three strikes. So now we can strike uh, once. Um, oh, shoot. I did this without mana. Did they take my mana? They have mana burn. Oh, no. Okay, that's actually fine. So what we can do is we can health potion up. Hit them again. Mana potion up. That didn't give us enough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a, that's really bad. I didn't expect the mana potion to not give us enough mana. Okay, it's still only going to... It's still um, only going to take one hit. So now I do want to fight and kill them. Oh, man. That was, that was way trickier than I thought it was going to be. Pyrrhus, played the dungeon without any extra kingdom preparations. Killed the last boss using either magical or physical damage, but not both. Killed all main dungeon monsters level 8 or higher without using petrification. Victorious. Preparations adventuring kit. Quest complete, bleed it. The trouble has passed and the locals are grateful. This goes to show just uh, that just about any problem can be solved if you hit it with a big enough sword. Petting zoo, crisis included. Poor goats. All right, let's... Uh, we're now at 40 minutes, so I, I didn't expect that one to take as long as it did, but we're, we're good now. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.